Assalamu alaikum guys Today is Saturday the 21st of March 2020 and it's been 8 days since uh, I've been in this uh, self-isolation um, So yeah, just thought I might as well do an update on how we're doing uh, the sore throat is gone. Um, it comes and goes. Um, the chest is feeling very heavy, which I heard could be um, a leading symptom. Um, but right now, my whole body is in pain. Uh, the only way I can actually uh, describe it is, um, you know when you haven't been to the gym for a long, long time, or you haven't been to the gym at all, and then you go and the guys that go to the gym will know and they'll understand it's basically that pain and it started from my feet all the way up to my knees and then my back lower back my shoulders I feel like I've done a huge workout Alhamdulillah I haven't got the cough yet and I've had no temperature, no fever. So Alhamdulillah, that's all good. Um, yeah, basically the updates are that our government in the UK has now decided to shut all clubs and pubs uh, and schools have been closed down. I'm glad uh, that I made up that decision a week prior to them not deciding to close down the schools i've no regrets whatsoever um and like i said just just stay home say stay, stay safe um don't need to stockpile um the shops are all okay they're all open the local shops are the prices are fine because of this scare that's going on um regarding uh, the trading standards coming and closing these guys down due to price hikes but yeah apart from that there's nothing to panic about um, I did um, have a few phone calls where people are asking about where they should be getting uh, milk from for children babies um, I also had issues uh, getting Calpol for children um, it's a medicine in the UK that you used to uh, if the kids have uh, uh, it's like a paracetamol painkiller kind of thing uh, that controls temperature should the temperature rise on a child uh, and all the chemists were out um, and then they had a rule the ones that did manage to get hold of some they had the rules where they would sell one bottle per household so you couldn't stockpile anything but i'm good with that the main thing is that you know what you're seeing in the news around the world uh, are seeing of the uk Yes, it's happening with all the large stores, with Asda, Sainsbury's, Aldi's, Lidl's, it's happening. But for the local shops, it's not. Uh, there are plenty of stock. Um, the prices are still good. And uh, yeah, um, things are normal uh, as of uh, right now. Uh, but that can change. I still don't understand why people are stocking up with toilet roll. Um, But yeah, mind you, since uh, since we've been in this self-isolation, you look out and you see the sun. The sun is shining. I've been out to the garden a few times and the garden is, the, I mean, the weather is beautiful. The weather is beautiful and I hope it lasts. Um, apart from that, uh, just keep, keep us in your duas. Uh, keep safe if, if you are out and about and you're going out and about I wouldn't say go out of your way because you're putting yourself at risk and your family at risk but if you're out and about you're collecting things from the shop uh, it doesn't hurt to uh, ring up uh, any friends and families or any elderly people you know or your neighbours and ask them if they need anything and uh, pick it up for them as well um, obviously getting the money out of them is a totally different issue but right now don't worry about them things um, you should you should uh, help uh, we need to stick together uh, we need to stick together and overcome this um, I'm good um, my mum's in isolation now complete isolation 
we're not going to take no risks uh, because you know th things are still being delivered to the door and um just no matter how how safe you think you are you're never going to be airtight safe because we don't know nothing about this virus at the moment we don't know how it's traveling i mean yes it travels from human to human but does that mean if somebody's touched your door handle and you've touched it you can get it so you know there's a lot of things that they still the government is not talking about they need to make this official so people know where we stand we're locking ourselves in the house which is good i'm i'm okay with it i wasn't told to do it i decided to do it well before the government started issuing these orders but the reality is it can never be a hundred percent airtight and due to that reason uh i've uh, isolated my mum completely into a room now where we're giving her food and everything only one person can keep contact she's obviously got a phone and we're talking and you know stuff like that everything's normal she's happy don't worry we haven't just locked her up but what i'm saying is we're just taking precautions the kids are all good uh they're more bored than anything else um they're bored um but yeah they're still doing their work um they're still studying they're still playing um and the good thing is they can have late nights and sleep in if they wanted but for some reason these kids just can't sleep in um they're waking up at uh quarter past six every morning and um that's when the day starts so yeah it's uh it's difficult but you know what <laughs> the way i look at it is that could you have could you imagine if this happened uh 15 20 years ago where internet wasn't um an open thing where anyone can get it now it's uh in every single household um you know f phones these phones were just they were normal phones you didn't have any video calls and voice chats and stuff like that um you know like uh, the whatsapp and all this kind of stuff yeah it wasn't there so could you imagine if we had to do this self-isolation during them times um how it would have been and believe me I think we would have enjoyed it. So depending on how long this coronavirus issue lasts, um, I'm actually thinking of putting in a ban of internet. So I want to stop the internet, uh, stop video calls, and just do normal phone calls if I need to. I just want to see how it goes, and I want my kids to understand that this is how we grew up, because for them, the world is incomplete without these things these gadgets they without their playstations without the internet and all these gizmos that they've got out these days um i just want to i just want to add something to it and and learn something from this on uh, in the process so you never know um if this lasts longer than what we're expecting it to and i've actually done that then i think um i've taught my kids something uh something new uh and that is that you know you can live without these things i mean right now I've noticed when we're all sitting at home, everyone's on their own phones and everyone's playing on their own iPads and stuff like that. Those days when we were young, I mean, I remember I used to watch <laughs> all of Blockbusters for the people that know what Blockbusters used to be. I used to watch the whole of Blockbusters just so I don't miss the A-team that used to come on straight after. Uh, B, please, Bob. <laughs> I used to watch the whole thing. Um, these days, you just go online and you just choose what you want. You don't need to wait for something to come out and uh, watch. But yeah, so that would be a nice little addition um, and a learning process to this thing. And um, apart from that, uh, yes, uh, I still recommend honey, um, onions, garlic and um, thum <laughs> As, uh, and ginger uh, and um I think and and black pepper these things have helped us uh, my sore throat has been in control so far i've been uh, under control sorry um uh, I ha it hasn't uh, uh, got worse and um, like i said if you look on the chart uh, that's being uh, issued all over the internet these days uh, telling you uh, from day one to day seven uh, what the process is when you actually get this virus um According to that, I'm stuck on day six. My whole body's in pain. I haven't got no temperature issues. Um, my chest is feeling heavy, but I've got no coughs. Um, my sore throat comes and goes, but it's not one of them sore throats. I've had some really bad days when it comes to sore throats. This was just a minor, minor little sore throat for a, for, for a couple of hours, and then it goes. Um, there's 
a lot of uh, people actually um, say now that, you know, if you were to fill up a bucket and put some uh, Vicks in there and cover yourself and breathe, inhale and exhale the, uh, the steam from there, that helps. I haven't tried that. I don't think I need to at the moment, but if uh, the need rises, I will. Um, so, you know, like I said, uh, rather than going out there and, you know, taking stuff that you're not 100% sure of, these are natural things, they can't do you no harm, um, and uh, it's working so far. So I still recommend all these things. And uh, guys, thank you very much for all the calls, uh, all the text messages and messages I'm getting. Um, basically, people are offering to do my shopping for me, um, uh, asking if I need anything, asking how my mom's feeling, how the kids are. Uh, I'm very grateful. Remember us in your duas. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna come through this, inshallah. We're gonna come through this. Um, I'm not scared. Uh, you know, I'm not scared of dying. Um, I'm basically scared of the way I go. If you know what I mean. Um, I don't wanna. I don't wanna go while the whole world is hiding inside their houses, and you know, not for the wrong reasons, but to protect themselves and their loved ones. Um, I, I'm seeing videos of you know burials happening with the family members are in isolation. They can't even attend um, wedding uh, weddings. They can't attend uh, funerals. They can't attend burials of loved ones. Um, it's 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 really heart touching, and um, I just hope that Allah pulls us through this. And, uh, you know, if nothing else, at least we get uh, the final prayers, the fi final rites. Um, and all your loved ones, they're praying for you and asking for forgiveness on your behalf. Um, apart from that, um, I think Pakistan's just gone under complete lockdown. Uh, complete lockdown. Uh, they're saying nobody's allowed to eat in any restaurants and hotels and stuff like that. And if anyone's caught, they're going to start uh, uh, getting... Uh, uh, prosecuted and this is happening in Mirpur uh, it's a matter of time before it starts going out in all the other states because um, it's quite bad uh, China has put, you know got control over this at the moment but uh, the Western us Western countries here we don't know what the hell is going on um, basically the way I look at it is that you know things haven't changed um, Things haven't changed. People are still scaremongering. There's people still panic buying, um, stock loading, and uh, we're forgetting. We're forgetting about the the elderly, the elderly. But the thing is, though, you have to realize, uh, in the beginning when this virus came out, they were saying that it's only for the elderly. But the the figures show that m most people that have been affected uh, by this uh, coronavirus are between the 27 and 50, 50 um, years of age. So, you know, everyone is in danger of this. Um, guys, if there's any, any, anything that you guys need to uh, let us know about what's going on, if anything, they've got any cures, any desi cures, natural ingredients, natural cures for this coronavirus, please drop us a comment below. And what we'll do is we'll try it. We'll try it and we'll come, we'll give you feedback. Um, this is the only way we're going to pull through this because right now they haven't got anything that's going to stop this. Uh, so let's turn around and work on this together. And uh, thank you very much for your support. Uh, please like, share, comment and subscribe. Allah Hafiz.